Hey friends, I want to share something with you. I definitely believe that we're in the last days. I don't believe we have much time. Now's the time to seek the face of Jesus. Now's the time to get in the harvest and try to reach for as many souls as possible. Look for every opportunity you have to share about Jesus. Because literally, we, we are running out of time. I want to share a word with you. 1 Kings chapter 19 and verse 5, 6, 7. It's a story about how when the angel came to Elijah when he was under that juniper tree and there was a cake there and there was some water and the angel told him to arise and eat. But then the angel comes back a second time after he lays down and says, arise and eat again because the journey's too great for you. You know, God's been trying to wake us up for quite some time in this country We've heard a lot of truth. We've heard a lot of the gospel. I wish there were street preachers on every single corner that people couldn't get away from the sound of alarm of you need to repent, you need to turn back to God, you need to love Him with all your heart. I wish more people had that daily in front of their eyes because everybody's trying to block it out, They're trying to put headphones on. They're trying to be distracted and, and busy in life and try to get away from their conscience that's telling them that they're going to die in sin and go to hell. And God has tried to wake up His church. He's tried to stir them. And many churches, they, they just don't want to hear a message preaching the way of the cross and preaching to people to repent and, and to really, really examine themselves and to be holy. And that message has been preached to arise and eat. And many people have not wanted to get in the Word. They wanted to go to other resources. They wanted to go to other books. They tried to try other, other measures to try to be spiritual. They try to learn from other people of what they've learned instead of learning from God themselves. You see, a lot of people, when God has been trying to wake people up, He's, he's telling them that the days are numbered. We don't have much time. He's trying to awaken up people and say, listen... You know, when you see these signs happening, when you see these things taking place, you better stir yourself awake. You better get a hold of God now. And, and over the years, we've, we've just seen a, a transition. We've seen a lot of people that once walk with God, once live for God, or now they're just worldly. They're in between. You know, they've let their kids play organized sports. They've, they brought a television in their home. They're, they're watching Disney movies. They're, you know... Their daughter's on the drill team or cheerleading. And, and there's no difference between them and people in the world, but yet they go to church still. But they're still listening to country music or they're still listening to you know, some secular music every now and then. They've made compromises. You see, and here's the point. What I'm saying is the angel comes the second time. Listen, if you didn't wake up the first time, the second time God's coming. And I believe right now he's trying to wake people up and saying, wake up. It's time to arise and eat. Listen, this journey is too great. If you think you're going to make this rapture, if you think you're going to make this journey on what you've eaten before, you're not going to make it. If you think you can live off yesterday, I don't care if you preach 50 years, if you're not hungering and thirsting more for God, and you can't hear that angel trying to wake you up, then you're not going to be able to make it because the journey's too great. There's too much deception. There's too much, too much darkness. For those that aren't hungering and seeking God, they're going to be left. I'm trying to encourage you today, if you haven't woken up yet, if you have not eaten at the Lord's table and said, God, whatever it takes, I have to make it. If you're not crying out and making intimate time with the Lord, communion, and, and you're not fellowshipping at His table and, and breaking bread with His Word, you better wake up. You better wake up. Time's almost up. I pray this encourage you. Thanks for watching.